All right, as promised, here are the notes. It's lesson four, starting on page 117 to 123. Make sure you take notes. Make sure you copy this down in your own notebook. You can use it for the quiz, okay? You have two goals for this lesson. The first goal is to change percents to decimals and fractions. And your second goal is to go backwards. Just a reminder, percent means per hundred, okay? So 100% is 100 per hundred, which is one, okay? There we go, okay. Remember the side here is for notes, questions you might have. Be sure to write them. Ask me tomorrow if you have any. We're going to go go ahead and go over the uh, got it's. The got it's. So go ahead and write this on the side. Got it. Page 118 to 120 to 120. We're going to go over the letters A through J. Okay, letter A. All right, you have to change this to a decimal number. Okay, a lot of ways to do this. It's up to you how you want to do this. Remember, remove the decimal point, sorry, the percentage sign. Move the decimal point two spaces to the left. Fill in the empty spots with zeros. Answer. Okay. Really is that keep it that, that easy. Don't overthink it. Alright, right, letter B, 300%. Change that to a decimal. Okay, remember. 300%, that's three times 100%. And if 100% is just one, three times one is three. Okay, just remember that. Each 100% is a whole, okay? But let me show you the other way real fast as well. 300%, remove the percentage sign. Add the decimal point. Move the decimal point two spots to the left. One, two. You're left with 3.0 the same thing. Okay. All right. Letter C. Go ahead and use the back. Again, use pencil for math. Okay. 
letter C. There you go. 530%. Okay. Remove the percent sign right at the decimal point. Decimal point, two spaces to the left, <clears throat> which gives you an answer of 5.30. It should make sense, okay? Again, remember this. 530% is the same as 500%, 30%. Okay? So, this is just 5. 30 hundredths is the same as tenths. So you have five and three tenths, which is five point three. Another way to look at it. Okay. <clears throat> Letter D, you have a word problem. Read the problem carefully first. Okay. The stock price for a corporation increased by zero point eleven hundredths of a percent. Write 0 0.1100 of the percent of the decimal and as a fraction in simplest form. Okay, so we have 0 0.11%. Again, there's a decimal point there. It doesn't mean that it's a decimal number. This tells you it's a percent. Okay, same rules. Move decimal point, two spaces to the left. Zero point eleven. Move decimal point two spaces to the left. One, two. Fill in empty spots with zeros. So, 0 0.0011. There's your decimal number. Okay. But how do you change this to a fraction? All right. Watch this. You have 0 0.0011. What's the place value? Tenths? That's thousandths? Ten thousands. So we have eleven, ten, thousands. And there's your fraction. You can't simplify this, you're done. Okay, so this is going from percentage to decimals and fractions. Okay. We have a fraction, we want to write this as a percent. Okay. I guess a couple ways you can do this. What I would do, change to a percent. Change the fraction part to a decimal number. Okay, keep this in mind. Two and nine tenths. Okay. Two again would be two hundred percent, right? And then this is the part that's going to confuse you, the nine tenths. You can change this to decimal number. 0 0.9, nine tenths. And then change that to a percent. 
Okay. How do you do that? You go backwards. You go to the right. So, 290, 290%, 290%. Okay. Again, if you have questions, make sure you write them on the side right here. There's more than one way to do this. If you have your own way of doing it, try it your way. There's just one way. Right, letter F. Three, two fifths. If I'm going too fast, again, you can always rewind the video, watch it over and over again. Three and two fifths. How do we do this? Okay. Change this to a percent. I know in the other example I said change this, the fraction, to decimal number, but you can change the fraction. To an equivalent fraction. Okay, so reminder we have three and two fifths. All right, percent means per hundred. We got to change denominator to 100. We can make 20 groups of five. That gives us 40. 40 per hundred is 40 percent and three well that's three holes and each hole is 100 percent that's 300 percent and 40 percent and means you're going to add them and there's your answer for f okay two ways of doing this Again, on the side, I'm going to do this. You can always divide the numerator by denominator and get a decimal number that way and then change that to a fraction. So, point 0.4, if you can see this real fast. percent same way all right All right, this is letter G. We have 2.5, changing the decimal number to a percent. Easiest way to do this, move the decimal point two spaces to the right. Again, 2.5. There's a decimal point, move the two spaces to the right. Add a percent symbol. Fill in empty spots with zeros. Now, it should make sense to you. Again, another way to look at this. Two and five-tenths. All right, two is 200%. Five-tenths looks like this. As an equivalent fraction, you do this. 50 hundredths. 
right? 50 per 100, that's 50%. Same answer. Okay, H. But again, the easiest thing would just be to move the decimal point. Okay. H. 0 0.004. Move the decimal point two spaces to the right. 1, 2. Your new answer is 0 0.4. Okay, you don't need all the extra zeros. <clears throat> you only need one to let you know there's no whole number other than zero. Okay, I, I think somebody getting the hang of this, I hope. Zero point zero zero one six. Zero point zero zero one six. Move that decimal point two spaces to the right. 0 0.16 okay and then the last one letter J there's another word problem the slowest land mammal is a sloth its speed is about 0 0.016 or 16 ten thousandths that of a cheetah write this number as a percent so Letter J. Last name. There you go. Zero point zero zero one six. Okay. You want this to change it to a percent. Be clear. You don't want a fraction. You want a percent. Okay. You need to see that percent symbol. So again, I'm going to rewrite it. Zero point zero zero one six. Move decimal point two spaces to the right. Your new answer is 0 0.16. Huh, same as the other answer. Okay, that's it. Um, if you have questions, make sure you write them on the side to ask me tomorrow. Also, on the in Schoology itself, there's a place to add comments. You can write your questions there so I can have ready, ready to answer tomorrow. It's up to you, all right? I'll see you guys tomorrow.